The Alfaro Laser 2. You turn it on, it's an alarm, and it's locked. Why is that? I'm going to show you why, how to reset it, and how to eliminate that little nuisance thing coming up. I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And sitting in front of me here is my Alfaro Laser 2. And every time you would turn it on, it would be locked in alarm. And you would have to, if you're in laser gerbil, you have to unlock it using the little padlock icon at the bottom. If you're in light burn, you have to type dollar sign $X to do a alarm clear. It comes that way from the factory, and I've read some reviews, and some people are just all irritated about it. Now they have ruined the laser by doing this. It, I suppose they had some kind of safety thing in mind. I don't know exactly what their intention was, because none of my other lasers do this. But I'm going to show you how to reset it if you want to keep that feature in there, and you're just confused about what to do. And I'm also going to show you how to change a Gerbil command in there, a Gerbil setting, where every time you turn it on or reset it, it will not be an alarm. It'll just eliminate that altogether. So, on the head of the computer screen here. Okay, show you two ways to do this. We'll start out with laser gerbil. This is not difficult to do. I'll show you a couple different things here. So, of course, you want to have your laser turned on and the USB connected. So, you go up here to connect. All right, you can type dollars sign. X to unlock, or you can go right down here to the little padlock, and now you're unlocked. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to, if you don't want this, you're going to have to use the Gerbil command to disable it. So you go up here to where it says Gerbil, and go to Gerbil configuration, and it'll bring this up. You're going to want to scroll down here until you find dollar sign sixty-four, which is right here. And we're going to change that number right there, the value from a one to a zero. Hit enter. Then write. Okay, it'll give you a little thing that's the one change has been written successfully. So then we'll just shut this down and we will shut the laser off. Of course you can't see me doing this but I'm shutting it off. So I will turn it back on. Then we'll come up here to connect. And then as you can see right here, it is no longer an alarm. So now I need to do the same thing in light burn. I'll show you how to access it in light burn. Okay, now to do this from light burn. We'll open light burn up here. And I need to pick the right laser. Referral laser 2. Well, in the console here, it'll show you that it is locked. So, to check this, type two dollar signs and enter. That will give you all of your verbal values. We want to scroll up here, find $1.64 equals one. We want to type down here $1.64 equals zero. Hit enter. And you'll see down here at the bottom it says OK. Now if you don't want to be doing this uh, and changing this value and you're in light burn and the laser's locked from the console right here you would do this. You would type a dollar sign and an X and then enter. And that will clear your alarm and unlock it. So right there it shows you it's unlocked. So what I'll do here now is I'll shut the laser off. We are disconnected. And I will turn it back on. There it comes up. 
As you can see, everything's okay. It is not locked. And you'll also see that the little red light is not flashing on your laser. So see, it was just that simple. Not much to it. A couple of keystrokes. And you can either clear the alarm every time you start your laser up or you do a reset. Or you can eliminate it all together. That's up to you. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I don't know exactly why they have that in there. Uh, it, it may have been some kind of safety thing so that when you start your laser up, it doesn't just run away. But I have never had that happen. I have eight lasers. So I've never had a, a startup on runaway. So there it is. Easy fix. Got anything out of it? Appreciate getting a thumbs up. Helps the channel. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers. Wisdom Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.